Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. Now, today we wanna to share how your business can thrive in a pandemic. We're gonna talk about how local and small businesses can continue growing and building their brand and business during times of uncertainty and adversity. Now, every single business all around the world is gonna be negatively impacted by the current situation at hand. Therefore, we need to ask ourselves, what can we do now in order to continue growing and building our brand during these times of uncertainty? And that's what we're going to answer for you today. We're going to talk about four ways that you can continue growing your business and brand so that when you start your business up again, uh, business as per usual, uh, a few weeks or months from now, you're going to be thriving. You're going to be at the front of your competition. You're going to be at the forefront of your market. That is why we need to jump onto this information now. Don't just be static like your business as you're probably closed unless you're essential business. You're probably not allowed to operate. Uh, here in New Zealand, we're actually in level four lockdown, which means we can't actually leave our house unless we need to go get groceries. Um, so therefore, we have to operate from home. Now, a lot of local and small businesses cannot operate from home, they're stuck. So what can they do to grow their business and brand? And that is what we're just about to talk about. Now, before we get into today's topic, I just wanna say I hope everyone's safe and secure, and I hope everyone is prepared for the next few weeks or months going into this pretty um, nasty and strange uh, situation. There's a lot of uncertainty uh, down the road and in the near future. So guys, before we get into today's topic, feel free to subscribe to this channel and tap the bell icon and that way you'll stay updated to new and practical videos aimed at helping your local and small business thrive online. All right, with that said, let's get into it. Okay, now the first way that businesses can continue thriving in times of uncertainty is to start experimenting with different marketing activities. Now, in particular, we wanna talk about video marketing. Now, I can probably guess that as a small business owner or a local business owner, you're probably not involved in any form of video marketing. However, today, video marketing is one of the most engaging and most common ways to communicate your brand, your business, your product, to your potential customers, okay? You can use social media to use these videos, leverage these videos into different uh, Facebook groups, into different forums. You can use YouTube to start driving online traffic uh, to your business to essentially, for your customers and potential clients to become aware of your business and brand. So video marketing is very powerful, but a lot of people aren't utilizing video because it's daunting to get in front of a camera. It's daunting to try and take videos and do some editing. But to get started with video marketing, it doesn't matter how high of a quality your video recording is, as long as you get started and you wanna be consistent. So video marketing is, is a fantastic way to essentially continue that engagement and to continue building your brand during these down times. Because where is everyone's attention right now? Everyone is on social media. Everyone is watching YouTube. Everyone's on Netflix. You can capture some of that attention and that's what it's about with your brand, with your video marketing activities. Now, if you start posting videos onto social media, a lot of people are gonna be on social media, especially Facebook over the next coming weeks or months, um, because that's where their attention is. And if you're putting these videos into different and relevant forums, uh, Facebook groups, then people are gonna start seeing your brand. If you're consistent, people are gonna start realizing what you're all about. If you're providing value to your audience, people are gonna reach out to you after this you know, situation is over and you're gonna have a lot of business because you continue building up your brand, you continue providing value, to potential customers, to your audience through the form of video. Now, what I'll do is I'll leave a link up above which will basically show you how to get started with video marketing, how to create your uh, videos using an amazing uh, video editing software. And with that, you can basically get started with video marketing and see where you go. Start experimenting with uh, your products and services, start videoing essentially everything and start posting that online. Now remember, people wanna see informative and educational content and you can do that with video marketing. You can position yourself as a market leader by producing a lot of videos and content for social media uh, and, it's, and it's free. You know, it's free. You can start posting this content and sharing it with your customers, with potential customers, with your audience, and you're gonna build your brand and position yourself 
as a market leader over time. Now is the perfect opportunity to start upskilling and learning how to get involved with video marketing. So I'll leave that link up above, check that out, and that is the first way to continue thriving in times of uncertainty. The second way to grow your business during this down period is to create a community, is to build a community. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, what you wanna do is shift your attention to social media, and in particular, Facebook. Facebook groups. Now Facebook groups are fantastic because what you can do is create your own community around your business, your products, your services, around a specific topic and that, and then you've created a small community of like-minded people or potential customers, you know, potential clients, your, your ideal audience, those that are looking for information, you know, around specific uh, uh, business, uh, you know, business advice or it could be products, it could be services. Uh, you know, what advice can you give based on your business? Now, here's a great example. There's a guy called Phil Holland here in Tauranga, New Zealand. Now, he's a business mentor and he's done this fantastically. A great example. He created a Facebook business support group when this whole situation began. And what he does is provides value and support to other business owners, other local business owners. And that's great because what he's doing is he's actually building his authority, he's building his brand, his credibility, and over time, especially when this whole situation, this drama, you know, passes in a couple of weeks or months, then he's going to have this brand, he's going to have developed his brand because he was providing free value. So people are going to recognize him and be like, hey, that's that Holland guy. He helped us through that very difficult stage in business. He gave us daily advice on how we can continue growing our business, how we can stay, you know, sane. And so, you know, now we're looking for, you know, some advice on governance or strategy. And who are they going to look to? Phil Holland, because he provided so much value during this difficult time. Now, he's a very kind individual. He's not doing that because of this. Um, you know, he's actually doing it because he wants to provide value to other local businesses. However, you know, that kind of secondary benefit to that is he's building that brand, that long-term loyal following and brand because he's providing all this value to his community. Now, you can do the same with your business type. Uh, if you're an electrician, you provide, you know, electricity. Uh, household like electrician advice. Um, if you provide kind of some kind of inspections, you can provide some kind of value around that. So you want to build a Facebook group and a community, you know, an engaging community, and you want to post five to ten times. Phil Holland's a great example. Like I just mentioned, he does this every single day. He's posting value. He's trying to help businesses out, and he does this five ten times per day. And he allows he allows other people to engage and interact and help each other out. And this is going to build your brand over time and grow your business. So when everything goes back to normal, you're going to have this following. You're going to have a loyal following and brand, and people are going to reach out to you as a market leader. So that's what you want to do is create a Facebook group around your business, your product, your brand, um, and that way you're going to create your own community. Now, the third way to continue growing your business and brand during these crazy times is to look at R&D, research and development. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, start looking at different markets that you can enter. Start looking at different uh, marketing activities. Start looking at different product or service extensions that you can add to your business. You know, you're, we're in the static stage, so you can't actually, you know, operate your business, but what you can do is start testing the market. Start reaching out to your audience, your current customers, potential customers, and find out if you know some of these ideas that you have in terms of the market that you want to reach or in terms of the products or services that you want to uh, start producing or providing start asking your audience ask them you know would you be interested in this is this something you would pay for how much would you pay for this product and service start testing the market start trialing different ways to essentially grow your business when things are back to normal. So start trialing. What are things that you've wanted to do in your business that you haven't had a chance to because you've been too busy? Maybe you haven't had the funds. I know I know now it's quite hard because you may not have the funds as your income is limited or you have no income because business has stopped. But start looking at ways that you can, you know, cost effectively uh, start testing and trialing different products. So R&D, research and development. Spend time on the online, on, in, on the internet and start looking at ways that, you know, start looking at your competitors. What are they doing that you could start doing? You know, start doing some research, grow your business, try and look at different product extensions or what can you do now that, you know, your customers will love uh, that they can pay for. 
that you can do from home. You know, start looking at different opportunities, start looking at different ways that you can continue growing your business and brand. So R&D is really important, research and development. Now during this down period is a perfect time to do that. So that's the third way to continue growing your business is to look at R&D, research and development. Okay, now the fourth and final way to grow your brand during times of uncertainty is to give to those in need. It's business for everyone. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, it's quite straightforward, but basically as a local and small business owner, you are responsible for looking after your community. Uh, you know, you provide services and products to, to your country or to your community. So what can you give for free just to help out? I mean, we're all in the same boat together. We're all in this situation. People are struggling. How can you help others out for free uh, with no expectation in return? Um, you just need to give, you need to help people out. Now, the secondary benefit to that is you might or you might not uh, get a long, uh, develop that relationship and have a long-term uh, lifetime client or customer from those interactions or from giving value for free, uh, your products or services to people that need it. Now, obviously, first and foremost, like I said, you wanna do it without any expectation in return because people do need help um, and it's your responsibility to help others out. However, long-term, this may turn into a potential uh, uh, client and professional relationship, which is fantastic long-term. Um, by doing this, you're just helping out, you're getting involved into the community, and this might be great publicity for your business. It's also gonna potentially build those relationships with those um, individuals that will need your services and products further down the track when everything's back to normal. So yeah, so essentially it's just offering and giving your services for free, your products for free, based on you know the limitations that we obviously have. You can't obviously um, perform you know electrical work because you're not allowed. So it depends on where you're based and what the restrictions are based on the self-isolation, um, this containment. Uh, also, what you can do is give away free products and services through uh, Facebook giveaways or other social media giveaways. And by doing this, you're going to create engagement, you're going to create that following, uh, and you can obviously give away your stuff. So you're doing, you're doing things uh, for, your, uh, for your community, you're giving your products and services away uh, for free, but you're also building up your brand, you're building up that following, uh, you're building up your online presence and exposure. So this is a great way to essentially help those that need it and also build your brand and grow your business over time. So firstly, giving to those that need it without the expectation in return, and that may turn into you building and developing your brand long term when things are normal, and also posting and creating giveaways of your service and product in, on social media such as Facebook, Facebook group, um, you know, your Facebook business page, uh, your own personal profile, it's giving, uh, doing competition, giveaway competitions, uh, fun competitions, be creative, be innovative because you know, uh, people are on social media, that's where everyone's attention is, so, and you can capture that attention and obviously build your brand over time. That is the fourth and final way to essentially grow your brand during times of uncertainty and adversity. And that is it from me today, guys. I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and which activity best resonates with your business and brand moving forward into these times of uncertainty. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you stay updated with new and practical videos. And with that said, we will see you in the next video.